Welcome back. Let's now look at uh, how you can pass parameters between pages in a report. For example, if you want, you, you know, like uh, you have an employee table and uh, the employees are based on the various uh, departments and you have a department table also. Suppose from the department table, you just want to drill down to corresponding employees of that particular department. So that's uh, possible with uh, the Oracle Apex, much more easy. Uh, from the department table, uh, interactively display all the employees per, um, who are related to that particular department. For example, if it's a department team, who are the employees in that department? So that's the requirement. So let's uh, build a report for this. So the first one is go to the app developer, create, create a new application. Okay, let's say this to be uh, employee M dip. So uh, create the application. So this will get uh, the application will be created with uh, the login page and all. So now um, we will create need to create two pages first uh, one is the department page with an interactive report and the employee page also as a um, interactive report. So create that page um, interactive report and we will call this as DEPT department and table is going to be the department table. So create that page. And uh, for example, if you're going to run this, so, so I've just run this report. So if you, uh, you have the department, only department number seems to be missing. I think I know because I think uh, the column might be hidden. Yeah, make it uh, plain text and run it. So department is there. So and now uh, we need to um, create one more that is employee. So create one more page interactive report. Let's say page three and uh, employee. employee and uh, the corresponding employee table from where it should fetch the data. So create that page as well. So this page is also created. So just uh, for sake, if you run it, you have an employee. Both are independent of each other. There is no parameters between these two. Um, now, what we are going to do is we are trying to link up these two uh, reports. Both are interactive report, but running independently. So now we want to link these two pages by clicking on some column. We want to open up automatically the employee table. So how do we go about doing that? Go to the second page and this is where it's low code. I mean, you need to have codes, but uh, Oracle Apex is low code. Many of the things um, you could just, uh, um, without using much code, just uh, giving some uh, configuration, you can always uh, play around with it with the minimum coding effort required. So instead of plain text, what you need to do is create it as a link. And what is the link you want? You want to have the link to the uh, particular uh, target. So link to the um, target, no link defined. So this is what we are going to define, define to uh, the page. We are going to define to page three is the employee. So I'm defining it to page three. So let's see what happens uh, here. So page three and now let's see, run it. 
and now once you do that you will see that it is changed into hyperlink because we said department 10 department is hyperlink it becomes a hyperlink but if you click on this it still gives goes to page 3 but it gives all the data over here so um, all the specific departments it is providing it is not uh, though you find here as a link hyperlink but it lists all the records it doesn't give the um, record um, i mean particular employee of that department it doesn't filter so how do we go about doing that so what you need to do is this is where you need to pass the parameter of the department to the employee report so how do we do that so go to um, page 3 edit go to page 3 edit so here um, you need to add a column create a page item below and um, what we need to do is we want to pass the department so uh, department is what we are um, going to pass and uh, what you need to make changes is to the employee table because all the if you look at um, it is based on the table but we are what we are going to do is we are going to make it based on uh, the SQL SQL query if you look at it this is where a little bit of SQLs will be always helpful and you know that's where I covered uh, the SQL part as well so where uh, DPT number number equal to colon that um, P3 P3 oops, P3 DEPT so we have said that P3 DEPT is the parameter so we save it and now what we need to do is uh, we need to link up this parameter this parameter P DEPT in this page to the department page so we need to when we press that uh, department over there it should pass the parameter to the employee page so go into um, the department page get to application department page and uh, go to the go to the department column we said link and look at the target link and um, and once you do that whatever the param I mean uh, the page parameter which is uh, item page item you have created that will get picked up automatically so we need to say p3 department we have that name set but what is the value you are going to pass the department value so we have to pass the department value so department so this p3 department which is there in the employee page we are assigning the department number from this page that is the department page say okay and now let's run and see what happens we'll go to the department so let's click on 10 and now uh, it should ideally restrict it so you have the department also coming in over here you can hide it if you want but if you look at it um, you can verify with the data um, so with the department 10 we have three employees uh, king clark and miller and if you go to 40 if i'm right there is uh, no data i think yes there is no employee there so that's where 40 it's not returning any value 
and similarly department 20 and this is all uh, i mean for um, drill down which is very common in data warehousing drill down kind of report this is how you can build it with the oracle apex as well so this is for the um, department 20 and so it is for the department 30 and uh, you can always cross verify uh, with the the data which is available in the database so that's how you can pass parameters between pages in an interactive report from whatever the value you get it from one particular report you want to pass it to another um, another uh, report you can do that as well so thank you